So what I wanted to show you is how to use the Reminders app on the iPhone. We're gonna break it down a little bit. I'm gonna show you how to add lists to those reminders and also how to trigger those reminders to go off at certain points of according to how you need them. What's going on, you fantastic people? Fantastic Joe here. Welcome to Apps That Roll, where we bring you tips, tricks, and how-tos for your phone. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing hitting that notification bell, that way you know when a new video comes out. So if you're like me and a lot of other people, life has a lot of hustle and bustle going on. You try to remember a lot of things and sometimes you just forget, you just can't remember. When it comes to certain birthday parties for family and friends, or anniversaries, or just simply having to go to the grocery store and get certain things. All right, so here we go, we're in the Reminders app. And what we're gonna do at the bottom right, we're gonna see where it says Add List. We're gonna click on that. And it brings up different colors that you can use for your background. And you can go with the default list looking icon. But we're going to go in and we're going to hit the cake and candle because we're just going to pretend like it's a birthday party. And we're going to use the color red because that's my favorite. And what we're going to do is we're going to just name it birthday party. Just to make it easy, simple. We're going to hit done. You're going to see it at the bottom of the list. We're going to hit that and then obviously there's no reminders. So let's click on new reminders and we'll put such things as candles and cake and presents. I don't know, we're gonna be very not specific in this video. So what, what I wanna show you is when you click on this, you can also see the little eye with the circle on it. You can click on that and you could throw some notes in here and It'll also bring up remind me on day, remind me at a location, and remind me when messaging. Selecting this option will show the reminder notification when chatting with a person in messages. So basically what you do is when you're talking to someone in, in a text, it'll pop up a little extra reminder to say, hey, do you need to mention something about this birthday party to this person? And then you got flagged, priority, you can, you can prioritize it to low, medium, high. And then uh, lists, that'll just take you to other lists. One thing I wanted to talk about, and I use this a lot, especially when I'm grocery shopping, is I click the add image button and I'll add images of specific things that I think I need that I don't normally get or that I'm asked to get and I don't get them normally. So I need to know what it looks like when we're out of it. So I'll snap a quick picture and throw it in my list. There's another easier way to do that. Um, in this example, we'll say candles. So we want to get specific kind of candles. And when you click on the actual item, say in this case the candles, you'll see a little clock, an arrow, a flag, and then a camera. So what we'll do is we'll click the camera button and then that's when you can click the take a photo button and you will take a photo and it'll drop it into your list next to the candles. And I'll show you how that looks right now. All right, so here we go. So I got, I took a picture of some candles that I need to go get at the store. I'll click the use photo button and there you go. There's the picture of the candles. So when I'm at the store, I can click on that photo and be like, oh, okay, those are the candles that I need. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Another thing you can do is, uh, let's say I'm gonna click on the candles again and we're gonna click on the clock icon now it's gonna bring up do we need to click today tomorrow this weekend so let's say I'm gonna click this weekend so basically what it's gonna do is then it's gonna pop up and it will remind me on that day I can go into the I little button here and it'll show you remind me on day alarm will go off now I can also click on remind me at time and then I could go in and I could select a specific time that I want to use for it to automatically go off to remind me that I need to go get some candles. So 11 a.m. on August 1st, I'm going to have to go get some candles. It's going to remind me of that specific thing that I need to get. Now you can also go in and you can click the little arrow. That's going to pop up some things that you can use and that'll be with either arriving at home, arriving to work, or when you get in your car. And in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on uh, when I get in my car. So there you go, when I get in my car, it's gonna pop off a reminder like, hey, you got in your car, reminding you, you need to go get some candles. So let's say I, I go grocery shopping or something and I totally forget I gotta grab candles 
and it'll bring it up when I get in my car on my way to go grocery shopping and I'll be, I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna add this to my list of things I need to get while I'm at the grocery store or get some candles. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell on how you can use reminders, set up lists in those reminders and how to set up things that will trigger to remind you of the reminders. <laughs> so get out your phones, go ahead, start using the reminders app on your iPhone. Let me know in the comments below if you use this app in the past or if you use a different app, go ahead and let me know what that app is. Make sure you watch some of these videos next to this playlist on more iPhone tips, tricks, and how to's. And if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.